Hi Water Signs Tarot Twins here. Welcome to my channel featuring Black Feather Tarot. Hi Water Energies. We're going to be spying on your current lover and your ex in this reading. So I'm going to look after the ex and and I'll be doing your current romantic energy and we're going to take um, take a look at them closely. We'll spy on them and see what they're up to, what, what they're, they're doing, feeling, what, what they're, they're doing, what's thinking. going on with them. Exactly. So we do hope this is going to be helpful. Don't forget to check out Black Feather's page. I'll link it in the description box. Really appreciate you guys being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, if you'd like a reading with the both of us, please feel free to email me with Tarot Twins as your subject line and I can send over all the info. We do have a currently only a few spots available, but still a couple to fill. So um, I'll leave that in the description link. Let's start off with Black Feather. Okay, so we'll give the cards a shuffle here and we'll take a look at your current romantic energy and see what's going on with them. See what it is you might need to know. Okay, you've got the Nine of Cups here. The World, the Knight of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Pentacles, as well as the Ace of Wands here. Okay, so um, a lot of water energy here. So it may be a fellow water sign that we're spying on and someone who has water placement in their chart. The Nine of Cups here, I feel like your person is feeling really good about you and um, about the connection they have with you. They feel as though you are like a wish come true or they feel as though you're someone that they manifested and attracted into their life. They're sitting pretty. They're feeling really good here. I also feel like this person is sort of showing you off to their friends. They're talking about you. They're like showing your photos to their friends here. Um, it's like they're putting also, they're showing off about you and they're, they're putting you on a bit of a pedestal here. Okay. Um, so they're definitely in awe of you or they're definitely awestruck um, about the relationship and about the connection that the two of you have here. The world card here, um, this is interesting because I see either beginnings or endings around this person. Now for some of you, this is like a past energy who is, who's come back into the picture here. And this is someone whom I feel like you'll have a chance to um, re-establish something with this person. You're either reconciling, re-establishing or rebuilding a connection of some sort. It's almost like you've had a mischance or a missed opportunity with this person before. And now you get a chance to do things all again, like a fresh emotional start here. Strong romantic feelings, okay, with regards to your person. I feel like this person may be in love with you, maybe falling in love with you, or this is someone who sees themselves, you know, falling in love with you, falling head over heels. This could even be love at first sight, because you've got the Knight of Cups, okay? You are dealing with someone who I feel like loves to love love. Um, the Knight of Cups is a bit of a charmer. He's a bit of an idealist. Okay, sometimes he doesn't always look at things and sees them as they are. Rather, he sees them as they want it to you know, as he wants to see them. So I feel like, you know, this is what's happening with your romantic interest here. I feel like this person is, um, either they may, they have a tendency to look at things through a ro like through a pair of rose colored glasses here, or this is someone who is just really, they're romanticizing you. Like I said, they've got you up on this pedestal and you're not coming down from it anytime soon. So this is someone who's definitely romanticizing you and the connection that you have or the connection that you can potentially have. This is someone who's already, I mean, this person seems to be, if you don't believe in love at first sight, this person proves, is going to prove you wrong because this is someone who's already seeing you in their future. I'm telling you, they're already like thinking up of, you know, the next time, like they're already trying to uh, formulate dinner plans or next time that they're going to see you mm. or next time that they're going to call you. Like this person is like, they're thinking ahead here and they're definitely trying to include you um, in their future, I feel like they're even shifting plans just to make sure that you're there, you know, with them here. Um, Wheel of Fortune, this is a strong indication of like a soulmate type of energy, to be honest with you. And this is a strong indication of, it feels like the two of you are destined here. And it, it also feels like for some of you now, this person, you've met this person at a particular place that you're normally drawn to, which it gives me this feeling of a soulmate. This person feels like the two of you are really connected here, especially on a soul and spiritual level. Um, this is someone who's feeling very elated about your, um, you know, about you and about the connection here. The Page of Pentacles, your person is very curious about you. I feel like your person definitely wants to get to know you here. Um, I also feel like, look, they could be spying on you. I mean, the World card here, the Wheel of Fortune, they could also be like trying to 
like link up with you on social media or trying to spy like you on your Instagram or your Facebook account. This is someone who wants to find out as much as they can about you. Mm. They could also be asking about you as well. The Ace of Wands, your person here definitely has a strong intense attraction towards you and they want to explore that, okay? They want to explore what they have with you. Um, there's definitely, I mean, there's a lot of room for the two of you to grow. Notice the sprouting wands here. This person is also wanting to offer you a new beginning. So like I said, if it's a reconciliation or reestablishment of some sort, or if it's just, you know, an entirely new connection, there's a lot of newness and there's a lot of potential for growth. Okay. So growing of feelings, growing of emotions, um, just growing together as individuals and as a couple a lot a lot of potential over with your current romantic energy mm. now we're going to shift over to your ex's energy and see what's going on there all right what's happening for your ex what are they up to what are they doing cancer pisces scorpio okay you've come up as a king's pisces energy Okay, so straight away I get the sense that your ex is working on themselves. They're doing themselves here, okay? So we've got the magician, independent energy, entrepreneurial energy. They're independent right now. Both these figures represent solitude figures. So I do want to say for a lot of you, your ex is currently single and available. So they may be looking, they may be dating, but I get the sense that they're more... They're more alone. Um, they might have dated recently. The King of Cups would indicate maybe they've had some um, brief emotional connections here. Um, I do want to say there's pregnancy news around some of you, um, around some of these exes here, because the High Priestess can be a symbol here for pregnancy. Okay, so there could be, and it might have even come from a brief relationship, but for some of you may find out that your ex is expecting a child. Okay, um, not for all of you, but for some that could be the case. So, but I get for the most part, they're, they want to be alone, okay? Maybe they want to be single, they want to go out, they want to just take it easy. They don't want to be too committed or too tied down. That's the kind of vibe that I'm getting from this person right now where they're at. Especially if you had like a rough breakup, it's taken them some time to get to where they have... Um, I feel like with the temperance card, they've tried to be patient with everything and take their time. Um, but the angel, because angels can be seen as healers as well, they're a benevolent energy. It makes me feel like that, that your ex has sort of help, has had someone help them in some way. It might be a friend or a parent or a professional, um, but there's been someone sort of in their corner that's helped them along the way. So to, for them to have gotten to this stage with the magician and the, um, the Hermit, I feel for the most part, is it's taken them a lot of time and a lot of contemplation with the Seven of Pentacles. But I think they've gotten, they finally got into their stage where they feel somewhat decent again. So I get there is a sense of, yeah, they're, they're doing it, they're doing things on their own, they're doing it alone. But also with the Magician, it's, uh, they just want to work on themselves on their businesses on their health i i don't get the sense that they want to couple up right now i mean that pregnancy maybe for some of you but also the high priestess can represent like um intuition or big things happening in our life so i think for a lot of you water signs this x has something big okay and and notice how she's holding the torah here it's a scroll it's very important so Makes me think some of you, this ex maybe bought a house, got the home to a deed, got a new contract, um, signed some sort of important visa documents or paperwork. There's something that they're holding in their hands here that somehow impacts their future uh, with the magician. And I think there is some sort of distancing here. But I want to say, because the magician can sometimes be read as a Gemini and Virgo is here. So Gemini and Virgo both rules by the same planet Mercury, which is the planet of communication. And you also have an angel here, which is a symbol of communication. It makes me think that um, there's an ex here that wants to reach out and wants to communicate with you. Do you think they've moved on? Um, not entirely. Mm -hmm. I still feel like there's something that exists there. There's definitely an attraction. We've got the upward fire um, symbol here. There's, there's an attraction that exists. Um, I think they would be open. I think they would be open to communication if, if that's what they're thinking about doing. I think right now as things are for them in this present energy as we do this reading, it would appear that this person would be receptive 
to mm. some sort of um, communication. Mm. And with the magician's appearance here, I get a sense that maybe they're likely to come back into the picture. Or as you yeah, said, they could. You know, they could communicate with you here because, I mean, after all, he's in the business of making things disappear and reappear. Yeah, so I get the sense I could be ghosting as well. So it's either your ex has recently ghosted someone or someone has recently ghosted your ex. Mm. So if they did this to you, they're getting a taste of their own medicine. Um, karma, signs. I guess. Yeah, right? karma. Is and everyone's then address written down? Yeah, and... Yeah, there you go. They're sort of thinking, well, what happened there? Or, you know, they're sort of scratching their head going, how did how did this come about? So um, really interesting reading, though. Yes, very interesting indeed. So um, it was for Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Or water, so water energies. Water energies. Yes, guys, thank you, as always, for tuning in. And thank you for the, you know, thank you for watching and listening and for supporting us. For those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with both myself and Felicity Tarot, please feel free to reach out with tarot twins listed in the subject line and we do have a few limited availabilities left otherwise guys we'll be, we will be sharing with you more tarot love messages so stay tuned thank you all again and thank you bye for now take care